Hey, GoCon Giants family, Eric Coffey here, your host. Today, we're going to be looking at source of thought opportunities for this past week of 1016. So, again, if you are not aware of source of thought and RFIs, go back and watch our previous video on the topic. Also, if you want a copy of a free search letter example template, visit our website, govconchise.com. And for more information on our courses and all of our offerings, visit govconedu.com. So today we're looking at source of thought notices. We're going to start here at our favorite website, beta.sam.gov. And again, I always kind of like to walk you through it in the beginning really quickly to give people an idea of what to do. So we went ahead and clicked on contract opportunities, click search, and then we're going to sort by RFI slash source of thought. We're also going to look at the past week of opportunities. So again, I look at publish date, click past week. Uh, hit the filter box on here. You guys are going to be experts, guys and girls. You're going to be experts at this by the time you watch enough of these videos. Click source of thought, and then it changes over. And now you can find a list of 361 results. From there, we go ahead and hit the download button. Pops up on my screen, and then we click download. Now, fortunately for everyone out there, I've already done this. So we're going to jump right over. This is what it looks like once you've downloaded. And the reason why we download this, the reason why we download this is because when you actually download the information, there were 361 opportunities. And when you download it, you're able to scroll through pretty easily just like this. Unfortunately, on Beta Sam, because it is beta and they're working on it, you still don't have that ability quite yet. So again, we download it, pull it into Excel, and I'm going to say this, if you have a problem pulling it into Excel, and maybe pulls it into like a Google Sheets or Google Docs type file, uh, what I do is I right click and hit open with, and then you hit open with, and then you choose Excel. So again, just want to give you that one big tidbit because I know some other people have said they've had problems in the past. Now, we've got it open. Let's look at the opportunities for this past week. Remember, uh, the people who are studying and learning from me, uh, ooh, what did I do here? Uh, this is what I highly encourage everyone to do in terms of how do you start marketing yourself to the government. It's pulling down RFI sources of thoughts, getting ahead before these things are released. So let's look at what came out this past week. Uh, workbook docking. Let's see, a mess attendant at U.S. Coast Guard in Virginia. Firing ranges, motors. I always find something interesting. Palletized seats, generated training support. Oh, look at this, centralized service and social distancing design build, COVID design build, that's interesting. Let's take a look at that and see what this is all about. Let's go back over here and we'll put it in type in results. Let's take a look at this project and see what it's about. It's the VA hospital. It's a design build project to create for creation of a centralized service area near the primary facility and they want to create social distancing barriers and several weight areas. So that's pretty uh, an interesting project. First time seeing something regarding COVID and social distancing. Let's keep going. Software capabilities. Uh, leasing space in Minnesota, leasing space in Minnesota, the Job Corps Center operation. There's a source of project in Puerto Rico. Okay, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Life insurance. First time I've ever seen life insurance. Oh, look at it. Formerly incarcerated motivational inmate speakers. How about this one? Formerly incarcerated motivational inmate speakers. So it's funny because we always say that the government buys everything. This is a classic example. If you are a formerly incarcerated inmate, chances are you probably don't know beta.sam, but I can tell you that the government is looking for, oh, sorry, I did not get back on my other browser. They're looking for formerly incarcerated motivational speakers. I think that this would be a great opportunity for those of you who know people that are in this space. Uh, questions sitting to Vanessa Jackson, October 25th. Uh, so we still have about a week to go. Uh, and let's just pull this down. I want to see it and read it, what it's all about. Put it up on the screen here. Look at that, the Federal Bureau of Prisons. 
looking for individuals who are, who are incarcerated and provide motivational speaking engagements. This is really, really neat. Um, I'm going to definitely post this on IG and everywhere else. I, I want to make sure that this gets the word out. So this is cool. I'm going to take that and share this with everyone. Let's go back over to and keep going down the list. I told you I always find really cool stuff, right? Uh, aerial target banner towing services, radio frequency, uh, transportation services. All of these truckers out here packing crate transportation. All of these truckers and they're telling me they don't see opportunities because why? They're looking at bids. They're not looking at sources of RFIs. You keep looking at bids, by the time, this might not even make it to a bid, but just like uh, what they teach you uh, in any type of religious practice, I have to keep reminding you over and over again um, that you've got to look through these things. Re rehabilitate Charles Young House. There's some dock repairs. Signal technician, uh, PLA project labor agreement, service contracts, depot services, facility repairs contracts, leasing office spaces, um, bulk oxygen fence. They're looking for a patient check in mobile app. Look at that, a SAS patient check in mobile app. Okay, where are all my IT people out here? I know we've got IT people that can do this. Take a look. Okay. We've got a mobile app. All right, there's a bunch of docs that go along with it. But again, um, this is not my thing, but this is somebody else's thing. And I know we have people out here in our space, in our circuit, in our groups, networks that can do this. Let's keep looking. Hydrazine facility. Pressure flight, flight motion simulators, radar operations facility maintenance, communication services, Portuguese translator. Portuguese translator. Someone listen to me, please, 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 please. We need you, Portuguese translator. I'm going to highlight this so I can come back to this stuff. All right. Portuguese translator, we'll highlight it. Harness assemblies, design metal, wing assemblies, NAFAC engineering support services, logistics centers, Japan, IDIQ, all my international people. Gun lockers. HIV test kits, centrifugal pumps, expendable supplies, homeless residential treatment. Okay, let's take a look. Again, I know people need spaces, so let's just dig a little bit further. I didn't grab it. Hold on, let me grab it. Okay. Provide emergency housing support services for homeless veterans. Okay. Support homeless veterans with mental illnesses. Um, support homeless services. Okay. Again, if you have any of these certifications, you want to provide these services. Uh, the country of uh, California. Let me just pull up the document real quick and see what we can find out. Do not pop up on the screen, but it's for the VA hospital out of California. And I'm trying to find where. It just says give your company information. And they're looking for. I know you can't see it. Let me see how I can make you guys see this. Um, we're looking for three to six beds in Contra Costa County, Contra Costa County, California. We're looking for three to six beds. Three beds times 366 days. We're looking for 1,095 quantity. 
So, uh, anybody out there in uh, Costa County that can provide housing for the VA homeless, definitely this opportunity is a match. Look, daily commute to special needs student transportation in Fort Stewart, Georgia. I like that. Stock repairs, fire services, first aid cabinets. Sourced up for infectious salmon anemia virus testing. Research, selling some research stuff to me. Microscopes. Storage of privately owned vehicles. Come on, you can do this. Right, storage of privately owned vehicles, um, wherever they're located. If you have a space available, let's pull it up. Let's see what we're talking about. All right, it says Camp Lejeune. Camp Lejeune. So here it is. Contract is going to provide services. You're going to store the vehicles. Deceased member, you get to retow, retow the vehicle. Return the vehicle at least once every 30 days. Cycle AC and the heater. Storage facility. Need to be within 10 miles of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune or the Marine Camp Morris from the gate. Should be ready except 1,200 vehicles. Sounds like a great opportunity to me if I had um, if I had some space available. That sounds like a fabulous opportunity for someone. All right, let's keep going. Airboat and trailer purchases. My man John has done some stuff like that. If you don't, if you know someone that has an airboat or a trailer, you know how to secure secure airboat trailers. Satcom, open platform for advanced learning, and we are at 13 minutes. A couple more, a couple more, and we'll let you guys go. Give me a good one. I want a good one. A shot contract at Fort Benning, Georgia. Surveillance training, facility management services, chemical storage buildings, leasing, more leasing office space, IDIQ may talk. We got that on our blog, gofcongiants.com forward slash blog. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you're asking me, I get this question all the time, do you have a course? Yes, visit us, govcongiants.com. That's our website. Our course is govconedu.com. Govconedu, like education.com. Look at this, USAID, Advancing Girls Education. How about that? How about that? That's a good one, I'm on it. How many people tell me that they, they wanna do training, they want to do, let's go and find out. I swore I had it. All right, let's look at what they're asking for. USAID. Download the document, pull it up. Let's take it one over. That's what they're asking for, cover page. Questions and comments, statement objectives, policies, research activity, and 
capability, capability statement. statement. That's like the overview. All right, this, this is in Mozambique. Okay, USAID Mozambique. Okay. USA Mozambique. Quality education, education proof learning outcomes in Mozambique with focus on schools with low enrollment of girls. Uh, they're look, seeking to materialize with these mission for human capacity strategic goals. Um, healthier and better, educate Mozambicans, especially the young and vulnerable. Okay, and they give you the challenge. I think this is really neat. There's a couple people in my group that we're definitely going to share this with that I think could benefit from this particular opportunity. So, um, two more and we're going. Two more and we're going to go. Give me two more good ones. Striker vehicle, community sports center director. Native American, Indian, and Street vendor list. Okay, that should be pretty good. Relativization, assistance uh, grantee training, blade windshield wipers, upgrades at TSA for a lot of airport, that's in my backyard. Network drops. Formats, impact testing. That's pretty cool. Washington, D.C., door opener upgrades. Child support training and technical assistance services. Bam! Who wants to do child support program training? Fire truck repair. All right, we're down to the last couple ones. Child and youth programs, education enhancement services. Uh, on-site Microsoft Excel training. If we have people here who provide Microsoft Excel training, let's see. Operation support, Defense Language Institute, CBS New Pass subscription services. That should be easy to get. Panic control effect. All right. Um, so let's close out with this Microsoft Excel training. Let's just take a look at this, and then I will close you out with this. As always, if you need help, you need questions asked, uh, you can reach us at 786-477-0477. Uh, the email is service at govconscience.com. at 786-477-0477 that you can reach us. Uh, let me just grab it. This is really neat. So if there's anyone out there that has these capabilities, definitely take a look at it um, and see if you can be the vendor who provides Microsoft Excel training. Or if you don't, maybe you know someone who provides this type of training and then you partner with them to help facilitate the training for the government. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Friday to you out there. Hope this video helps some people. And again, uh, be positive, uh, stay alert. And one thing that we're going to start talking about soon is what Jim Rohn likes to say, a lot of people are majoring in the minors and minoring in the majors. So stay tuned for more conversation on majoring in the minors. I feel like a lot of you, the activities you're doing are not necessarily helping you progress towards achieving your dream of winning government contracts. More so, you are just basically doing activities. So we want to talk about majoring in minors and minoring in the majors so that we can help you all get to the point where you make it to on our winners list, uh, enjoying the GovCon EDU students and GovCon Giants family for winning your first contract, your largest contract, or creating a long-term plan for winning continuous contracts for your company. Thanks. That's all. Love you guys. Peace out.